A little guy with a funny name in Chesterfield's proving heroes come in all shapes and sizes. In his latest I Have a Story, Greg McQuaid and photographer Cole Pearson show us how he was in the right place at the right time, all new at 11. Good boy. Good boy, look at you. Trisha Dodson always dreamed of a companion like Tater at her side. This is the first time I've had my own puppy. Everywhere she goes, he goes. That face, he's just adorable. He's just a love bug and he's so cute. Just weeks after moving into her home in September. Come on, Tater. Trisha turned to the Richmond SPCA to find a four-legged friend. He is a beagle, um, basset hound mix, they call them bagels. <laughs> the U.S. Army veteran adopted Tater in October. A shelter dog found abandoned in Cumberland County. From the time I adopted him, he's just adorable. Since October, the pair has been inseparable. He is just sunshine. He is sunshine in a doggy's body. <laughs> he really is. And as Trisha found out, their bond goes beyond fur deep. You know, when I think about it even now, it scares me what could have happened. In the small hours of March 1st. I was sleeping, it was about between 3 and 3.30 in the morning. Tater would jolt Trisha awake. She thought he needed a potty break. He started jumping on me and barking. But his bark was a warning of a danger lurking downstairs. And I opened the top of the door and just black smoke hit me. A smoke alarm was blaring, but Trisha didn't hear it. She's deaf in one ear. There's no way I would have heard that alarm. No way. I think that's what keeps hitting me, you know, how thankful I am. Trisha's digital stove short-circuited and started burning. Um, and then this next photo is actually where you can see some of the damage that happened where the stove actually is. She called 911 and rushed Tater out, but her two cats were hiding upstairs. Luckily, of course, police and fire got here really quickly. Chesterfield fire crews arrived and moved the burning oven outside. I mean, that's what was in my house, just that black, thick black soot everywhere. I was very lucky. For as house fires go, I was very lucky. Weeks later, Trisha still shudders at the thought. Yeah, I would be dead. If Tater didn't act. I would be dead. And that's, that's what scares me. The smell of smoke and soot need to be removed, but Trisha's home is still standing. I mean, if he hadn't barked and gotten me out, like it could have happened and, and the whole house could have been lit up. For his heroic act, her pooch is promised a lifetime supply of belly rubs oh and treats. I can never repay him for what he's given me, ever. There's just no way. Tater, the shelter dog. Good boy. Good boy, Tater. He stole Trisha boy, Dodson's Tater. heart. Oh, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Then promptly saved her life. We're, we're in it together, and he's, he's right there with me, and he's helping me every step of the way. Trisha's two cats did survive that terrifying night hiding upstairs in the bedroom. Miss Dotson says she will promote the benefits of adopting a shelter animal to anyone who will listen. She says that furry friend just might rescue you in more ways than one. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.